New developments in the Flint water crisis. Congress now calling on Governor Snyder to testify. Congressional hearings will be taking place next month. This as the National Guard is wrapping up its initial mission. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson live on the ground in Flint with the very latest for us. Jonathan. Guys, good afternoon. That congressional hearing expected to take place on February 3rd. It's the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. The governor himself must appear. The line for water in Flint as long as ever today and residents still just as frustrated. You can't live without water. So everybody has to come out and get it every day. How long do you think you're going to have to do this? I don't even know. I don't even want to think about it. The National Guard doesn't know how long they, too, will be supplying water and filters, but the seven investigators went along with the Guard this afternoon as they made their final round going door to door. At the end of today, we will have reached all the geographical areas of the city. Um, we will then start going back to make sure that we didn't miss anybody, that we didn't miss any homes. And that initial case of water and water filter that we dropped off, that's only going to last so long. So to be clear, once this mission is complete, they'll then regroup and double back, making sure no one is left waterless. Meanwhile, the state health department announcing late today it has not been able to confirm if an uptick in Legionnaire's disease here is water related. They do confirm four deaths from the disease in a short amount of time here, though. Finally, we also learned today congressional hearings will take place and the governor being called to testify before Congress. And back here live, we're at one of the water distribution centers where there is still a long line of people that continue to drive up here for water. And we'll have another update for you coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Flint. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right, Jonathan, we look forward to your report coming up at 6.